Welcome back to the Fuji Guys channel. My name is Billy. Today, we're going to take a look at Fuji's latest mirrorless camera, the XA3. So keep on watching. So we're in Toronto, Canada to take a look at Fujifilm's latest mirrorless camera, the X-A3. Now, one of the biggest upgrades to this camera, of course, is the image sensor. It now uses a 24 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor that's going to give you better image quality in low light situations, but also it makes it easier to isolate the subject from the background, giving you a lot more control of depth of field. So again, if you want to isolate a subject, you can create that nice shallow depth of field that makes some of the professional photos that you see around just stand out a little bit more. Now, not only is the sensor a good thing with this camera, of course, Fuji's knowledge of making prints and making film has really taught them what people like about prints and what people like about color. And to that fact, Fuji cameras are excellent for shooting just straight off JPEGs, giving you beautiful looking images. In fact, you know, the camera has built-in film simulation modes that allow you to mimic some of Fuji's professional films like Velvia film that's great for landscape because it's a little more punchier and it exaggerates some of the, the colors in the scene. There's also things like Astia which allows you to take some great portrait photos and allows you to give you nicer skin tones with a nice unique looking color especially for the skies uh, on a day like today it would be actually perfect. Of course you can also shoot in monochrome as well and there's different other uh, film simulation modes that you can shoot with this camera. Now on top of that if you do plan to shoot in lower light situations you know unlike your smartphone which may have have a built-in flash but it's an LED flash not very effective the XA3 has a built-in pop-up flash and it uses Fuji's super intelligent flash system to really take the best photo in any lighting situation whether you're taking portraits or you're taking food photography the flash is going to automatically determine if it needs to fire full power or if it needs to reduce it down shooting impulse little small pulses so that it doesn't overwash doesn't wash out your images so this is a, a great thing about you know the XA3 and of course you know stepping up from a smartphone so the XA3 sports are retro design similar to other Fuji X series cameras. You got now a metal top and bottom plate that again is, is re very reminiscent of Fuji's X DNA. Uh, you got dials and controls, you got a little exposure dial on the top, exposure comp dial, and you got a little rear command dial. So it really gives you a lot of, you know, like some external controls, but for simplicity's sake, there's now a mode dial on the top of the camera that really allows you to toggle through the different shooting modes, including the ability to shoot in full manual control. So you do have access to both aperture and shutter controls uh, on this camera if you want to of course experiment more experiment more but also for simplicity's sake there's a scene recognition auto plus mode which we'll talk about later that just makes it very simple and makes this camera really truly a, a point and shoot camera with a very large sensor to give you some great image quality now the camera that I have here today of course is the brown version but it also comes in two other colors you have a pink as well as a silver and black version that again is very similar to some of the other X series cameras in Fujifilm's lineup. The uh, design of the camera of course really inspires for uh, for you to kind of really want to be a photographer because it gives you that nice feel. The, the grip on the camera is a lot better from the original X-A2 that was being offered. It's a little bit slimmer as well. Uh, it uses the same battery as most Fuji X series cameras and that that is the of course the MPW126S battery. The S is a new battery for Fuji. It just really is more protective against the heat that can be caused, especially when you shoot uh, video with cameras because it does really uh, provide a lot of heat coming out of both the, the processor and the sensor that's in the camera itself. Now this year the difference of course with this cam is that it is USB chargeable. So right off the bat, just like your smartphone, you can plug this into the USB port of your computer or if you have uh, the included USB adapter, a uh, wall adapter, you can actually plug it in and have that charge via the USB slot on the side of the cam, which makes it very, very convenient. You know, everyone, including myself, we're used to using smartphones and, you know, having the ability to, to not have to carry an extra charger with
with you uh, is really great. In fact, you can use the same phone charger to, uh, to charge the battery. And talking about battery life, mirrorless cameras, typically because it uses mainly the LCD screen to take your photos, generally are, are not very high in shots per charge. But Fuji's really uh, designed the performance around getting longevity from this battery. It offers about uh, 410 shots per charge. So that's pretty much more than enough for, for someone like me, you know, going out in a family outing or a dinner party to, to take photos and not have to worry about uh, the batteries dying. Of course, I always do recommend when you buy any digital cam to have an extra spare with, with you because you never know. No matter the skill level, the XA3 is the perfect camera for everyone, whether you're using the manual controls on the camera to adjust both aperture or shutter speeds, or even using some of the uh, simple modes like the SR Plus Auto that does all the work for you, this really allows you to take great photos in any situations for anyone. Now, in addition to that, like other Fuji X series of cameras, there's also other fun feature modes like the advanced filters, things like toy camera, miniature effects, and even the ability to shoot in monochrome and isolate one single color, whether it's red, orange, green, or blue. Also, uh, there's, there's a new addition to the camera from the X-A2 in that you can now shoot motion panoramic images just like you would with your smartphone, of course. And also, there's a time-lapse feature that allows you to do time-lapse photos. So later on, using editing software, you can create really good-looking time-lapse photos. And having a large sensor like this with an APS-C size, it's going to really allow you to shoot as, uh, night photos uh, that give you these stunning time-lapse shots. So in addition to that, you've got other standard modes. You've got a portrait enhancer mode that really softens the skin. There's three levels to that. You also have self-timer features that makes it very easy to get in the shot. In fact, there's a smile shot where you really just smile and the camera automatically takes the picture for you. You've got a buddy mode and you can set how much buddies you want in that shot. And as long as it recognizes three faces, if that's what you set it to be, it's going to automatically go and take that picture. So really a fun and simple camera to use with very, very simple controls to the mode dial on this camera. Now the XA3 is kitted with Fuji's XC 16 to 50 millimeter lens. It's optically image stabilized, which makes it easy to take pictures in any lighting situation. Of course, today it's very bright and we can get very fast shutter speed, so we're not going to have to worry too much about camera shake. Now, there's a 1.5 conversion factor, so the 16 to 50 millimeter lens is actually equivalent in terms of full frame size to uh, 24 millimeter to 75 millimeter somewhat in that distance and that's going to make it a great everyday camera because you can shoot things like landscapes, portraits and even do macro shots with this incredible close-up um, ability of the lens itself. In fact I think from the edge of this lens to an object you can get it just uh, just about uh, about seven centimeters away so which is kind of nice. The photos that come out of these, out of these kit lenses are actually very good. In fact, I don't generally call these kit lenses because, you know, Fuji makes incredible glass. Um, they've been making glass for quite a long time, including, you know, lenses for medium format cameras. So they do know how to make good glass. And, you know, what you're getting with this kit, you know, it's going to be perfectly enough for taking excellent shots. But, of course, if you want to elevate your photography, you, you might want to look at some of the other Fuji lenses that, that Fuji offers. It is compatible with all Fuji's XF lens. In in fact, I do have Fuji's latest lens today, the XF 23mm f2 lens. This is one of Fuji's designer series lens that is very compact. It actually looks nice on the camera itself as you can see. The XF 23mm lens is a great little lens to take around Toronto because it has a perfect focal length of about 35mm in terms of 35mm equivalencies. I like this little lens because it's nice and compact. It does offer aperture controls unlike the kit lens that's included with the XA3. So you do have uh, one third stops in between the full stops uh, that are indicated on the lens up to f16. And in a day like today when you're doing landscape shots, uh, you do want to close down the aperture to so that you can get more things in focus and of course the bright sunlight it's gonna reduce the shutter speeds and from you overexposing the shot as well it does come with a nice little hood here but it is an optional metal lens hood that you can buy the same lens hood that's compatible with Fuji's XF 35mm uh, f2 which is the other designer lens that Fuji offers and of course later on Fuji will offer a new XF 50mm f2 lens which will complete the three 
trio kit, which to me, I think it's a perfect lens, especially for a camera like this. Again, if you want to get just a little bit better in, in sharpness using prime lenses over the kitted lens, and it offers the same size and weight and lightness that the X-A3 does offer as well. One new addition to the X-A3 is that it has an auto macro mode, so there's no longer a dedicated macro button where you have to change in order to take close-up shots. Uh, the distance between this flower and the end of this lens is about seven centimeters, and that's how close I can shoot with this camera without even having to change any of the modes. I'm actually using some film simulation here to take uh, bracketing shots and Velvia, uh, as well as uh, some other colors like classic chrome, just to see how it looks. Uh, of course, you can also shoot raw with this camera so that later on you can uh, edit the, the images to uh, what you like and it gives you a little bit more latitude for a dynamic range and white balance and things like that. So this is somewhat the distance here about where I can actually get the camera in focus. I'll try to see how much closer I can get in and uh, it allows me to have focus. So that is about the the point right there that's the distance between the flower and this lens and how close I can get of course I can also stand back out a little bit further and and use the telephoto zoom on this lens and uh, also get very close-up shots and in fact I don't have to be too close but um, I can get focus like that so that's nice to have again you know a very versatile lens kit uh, with this camera that allows you to take great landscapes, selfies, and even flowers. And uh, I got a little uh, fly there, see if I can get this guy in the shot as well. Now, this is a perfect scene to get me in the shot. So if you don't have anyone around you, you might want to do a selfie, and typically you do that with your smartphone. But the X-A3 has a great little feature. It uses a 180 degree tilt LCD screen. And when you flip the screen up and slide it up, on automatically the screen inverts so that you have a proper view of you and the background to take that perfect selfie. Now, it also enables things like face detection as well as eye detection, not only to get focus on the subject, but to also get proper exposure on the face. Now, typically when we take photos, we use the shutter release button, but the X-A3 also allows you to use the command dial on the back as a button to release the, the picture. So again, you can get a much steadier shot and a better grip of it so that you actually don't drop the cam and that's a great little feature with this. The LCD is also touch enabled, meaning that I can actually touch on the screen and the camera will focus on that point and take the picture, which is quite nice and convenient if you're very used to how smartphones operate. You can toggle the different touch options during the shooting mode by pushing this button here, where it really, as I push this, it just moves the autofocus point and sets the focus for me. And then I have the ability to set it just to the area, so I can point the, air, the autofocus area there. The camera's not going to do any, anything until I half press the shutter, which then locks in focus and I can take the picture. In the playback mode, the touch screen also allows you to swipe between images, as you can see here. You can also use pinch and zoom, just like you would with your smartphone, to zoom in and zoom out to confirm uh, the autofocus, which is nice to go. Now, the X-A3 also improves on the autofocus system. It uses 49 autofocus points. Uh, setting it to the single point here I, and pushing this AF button, I can move the autofocus points uh, again like I did earlier with touch, but now of course with just the, uh, the directional keys to 49 different areas in the scene, I can use a command dial to increase or decrease the, the, the focus point, which is nice and I can quickly take that picture, of course. And of course, the camera does offer zone and wide tracking autofocus now. So set uh, with zone and set with the auto focus, the continuous focus mode. It's great for shooting action shots where I can just half press the shutter button, wait for the subject or track that subject, and really just take the picture if the subject's coming through the scene and then the camera's gonna give me a nice shot there. So again, that's a great addition to the X-A3 and then here's a great shot of just an action that we just did. Uh, really quick for, for shutter lag and, and, and autofocus time and really it makes it uh, a great camera to take pictures in, in any situation. So we just finished lunch at the Good Fork here at uh, Blore and Jane. 
a great little restaurant uh, and I had a great chicken burger and as most people do at a restaurant you generally take your photos and usually with a smartphone and in situations where you know it's low lit and very dim this is where the X83 really comes into play you know large sensor high sensitivity gives you the ability to shoot in natural light and get you very very steady shots now the great thing with the X83 is that it has built-in Wi-Fi that allows you to connect directly to your smartphone so you can actually transfer images uh, and then share it on social media websites including Instagram and, and Facebook and of course you can also use the camera remote app from Fuji to remotely control the camera so if you wanted to remotely take pictures you can actually use the, your, the app to do that. I also have the ability to print directly to the InStock share printer as you can see I've set up this camera now with the SSID information from this printer and, and that's just through the menu on the camera and now I can actually make prints directly to this and have basically a physical print which is really nice because you know sometimes you could sign this to the restaurant owner give it to them and and they really appreciate you know just giving something back to the restaurant that's kind of a fun little feature to have as well so that's really a neat feature with Fuji's you know wireless capabilities and as you can see here the print just comes out and just in about a minute's time you'll see it fully uh, it will, it will expose and of course in about five minutes time it's fully set and ready to go like this picture that we kind of did earlier. Now the great thing about the 180 degree tilt LCD is that I can use it for vlogging. So basically I'm filming with the X-A3 right now. I'm shooting in full HD video. I'm, I have the ability to change the frame rates from 60 frames, 50 frames, and even a more cinematic like frame like 25 and 24 frames per second. Also I have the ability to control both the shutter speeds and aperture as well as ISO. So I can set that right now for simplicity's sake. I have the autofocus set automatically, ISO automatically, everything's fully automatic including the focusing. It's also even using face detection to ensure that uh, you know as I'm walking down the street here that I'm in focus which is great. Now the camera's ability to shoot video, uh, you obviously want at least a very fast SD card otherwise you might have some interruptions and there are some limits to the video. I believe it's about 14 minutes per clip but you can record multiple clips on the camera itself. So really a great feature overall with the X-A3. So there you have it, Fuji's latest mirrorless camera, the X-A3. Now this camera has a lot of good features going for it, a large sensor, and it really is a step up to your, your cell phone. Now, if you want to learn more about this and other Fujifilm products, again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at The Fuji Guys. Follow us on Instagram as well as on our Facebook page. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Until then, I'll see you next time.